Um, and as I talked about before, mums are, are famous for this. Putting yourself last is actually putting everyone else last because, you know, you know, mums put themselves on the back burner over and over and over again. Um, and they jeopardize their health. But, you know, it's a bit, well, with me growing up, and I'm, I'll, it'll probably be the same for everyone who's on the call. Um, like with my mum, my mum ran the house. She was like the most important figure in the house. If my mum went away, like everything would be in a mess. My dad just couldn't like handle it. So if, and you know, my mum was, you know, a, a very big lady um, at, at one point. And it got to the fact where, you know, her health was in huge um, jeopardy. And if anything ended up happening to our mum, like we probably would have been, yeah, it would have just been like devastating. So um, from like a, and I've got the perspective of like the child's eyes looking out. And if anything did happen, man, our whole family would have been in big trouble. Luckily, nothing bad happened. My mum was able to, to fix it and sort it out. But if you actually put yourself first, you're actually putting your whole family first. So I feel like mums feel really bad when they don't, when you know, instead of looking after the kids or instead of cooking their kids' meals or, or whatever, maybe, or making the house spotless. And if they actually do something for themselves, they feel selfish, but actually it's the complete opposite. When you invest into your health and fitness and when you invest into doing your workouts, you're actually doing everyone else a favor. So I hope that makes sense.